summer 2013 and art really is everywhere. 57 paintings on 22,000 billboards. Over 90% of the UK population will see one of the paintings at least once. They're in communities all over Britain. On the seafront in Brighton, in Piccadilly Gardens in Manchester, on the streets of Leeds, and leafy suburbs like this one in Nottingham. Taking art out of the safe, sometimes rather anaesthetised context of an art gallery and putting it into a shopping centre or on the side of a bus or in the back of a taxi uh, or on a roundabout is, uh, is actually fantastic. It's better to see that than the one beside it, you know, so I would need to see that. <laughs> it gives a definite kind of time of day and space which is very different from where we are now, so it's quite nice. No, I never take the time to go to the gallery myself, so I like that it's out on the street and see it every day. That's quite nice for a change, instead of kind of advertisement shoved in your face, it's quite intriguing. I think people don't look around at things enough, so maybe this will encourage people to look around more. This is probably the wrong thing to say, but I, I, I'm not hoping for anything, right? I think it's there, and, and, and it's beautiful, and I, and, and I know full well some people won't even notice it, right? And that's okay, but some people will, and it might have the effect that it had on to me when I saw some art on my way to work, which was, it just made, it made my commute a little bit happier. Art Everywhere is a big idea. The artworks are out of the galleries and onto the street, where they really have to fight for attention, and some have more impact than others. Here's Hogarth's servants, looking at home in Manchester's Northern Quarter. And Holbein's ambassadors, waiting their turn at a London bus stop. I really like this one. I think not only is it provocative and dry and really in your face, it's really funny. And if I was driving home on the flyover after a long day at work, this one would definitely make me smile. Where the paintings work, there's a kind of magic. Here's After Lunch by Patrick Caulfield. His blue bringing out the blue of the bridge. We came across it and we were talking about it and then the boys said, oh, well, let's go and see it in the museum tomorrow. So I think it's a great way of getting kids and everybody involved in art. Here's the Sgt Pepper album cover in Manchester. This album, thinking of Sgt Pepper, knowing its history, what it meant, as a, an inspirational piece of work in its production. I think of the actual sound, the actual artwork, it, it goes with it. Howard Hodgkin's rain seems to work against the pebble dash in Brighton. I think it's a brilliant idea because it makes it far more accessible to everyday people. You don't have to be a connoisseur to see art in the street as opposed to walking into an art gallery, which can be intimidating to some people. Ophelia is looking radiant in the bright Nottingham sunshine. You feel like you want to jump into the actual um, picture or whatever, you know? That's classic art to me, yeah. There's something that appeals. Is she there as a, like an image or a ghost? It's, it's, it's something that appeals. And this is Turner's The Fighting Temeraire, a permanent sunset by Shepherd's Bush Market. Does it surprise you seeing something like that here? Yeah, yeah it actually sure does to me. And do you like it? To be honest, he actually looks nice there. I used to go quite often to see in the flesh, and now seeing this beautiful artwork uh, close to where I live is wonderful. Art Everywhere has the spirit of adventure that the art world really needs. It really is a very, very big art show. It's been a bit of an experiment, but when it works, it really works. It's a world first, let's just hope it's not the last.